Bets. I'm here with more best bets in the National Football League. More winners for week 11. I don't know if we can say winners. Another losing week for me last week. Two and three, thanks to the Jets and the Cowboys in the afternoon saying, look, I see your tweets. I see all the people angry with me. And you know what I have to say to you, all you people, all the haters? And I will paraphrase this great quote from the movie Goodfellas. F*** you. Fade me. Now let's get to the bets. In the board of spreads as we pay homage to this a- the board of spreads. And only one game this week that I have no interest in betting. A Super Bowl rematch from about 30 years ago, whatever, almost, with the Rams and the Patriots. I don't think the Patriots are going to cheat in this game. We'll see. Rams, a four and a half point road favorite. You know what the spread is to me? Correct. If I had to bet the game, Patriots money line with it's gonna be May. But I don't have to bet the game. So I won't with the Rams and the Patriots. Now the if-then games. Let's go. Seattle and San Francisco in the NFC West. San Francisco destroyed Seattle when these two teams played earlier in the season, Thursday Night Football in the Pacific Northwest. Now, San Francisco off the win against Tampa. Christian McCaffrey back in the lineup. Niners, a six and a half point home favorite. And I think this point spread's pretty close to being right. If this goes up anymore, a seven, and we will take the points with Geno Smith, Mike McDonald, Yacht Rock legend, and the Seattle Seahawks. But I need seven to make this bet on the Seahawks against the San Francisco 49ers. Couple more if-thens. How about the Vikings and the Titans in Tennessee, where poor or Will Levis, his brain and his mind gonna get put into a blender by Vikings a defensive coordinator Brian Flores. The problem though, slinging Sammy Darnold, throwing picks like they're going out of style last week against the Jaguars. If this point spread comes down even a half point to five and a half, skull baby, we will lay Flores and the Vikings on the road at that mayonnaise swilling freak Will Levis and the Tennessee Titans. One more if then game and that is the New Orleans Saints and the Cleveland Browns. How about the Saints? Derek Carr hitting Marquez Valdez Scanling. They're looking like Brady DeMoss down the field. Browns and Jameis Winston off the bike. Jameis revenge game for the Browns up against one of his former teams. I think the point spread's fine. If we see, though, Cleveland get bet a little bit more and this goes to a pick em, I'd actually consider betting the New Orleans Saints. And if it goes up a little bit, Cleveland plus one and a half. I like the Browns in a teaser like on Sunday in the Bayou. Now I've got a teaser for you, a winning teaser for this week. We gave you a winning teaser last week. Let's give you one for this week. This week's winning teaser features the Miami Do- I mean, seriously. Dolphins minus two. We think this is going to be Desmond Ritter, probably. Ritter me this. Does it matter who the quarterback is? No. Dolphins down to minus two. The Atlanta Falcons could play, you know, the greatest football team of all time in their prime, and the Falcons would play a close game. They could play a high school team, and it would be a one-score game. That's what the Falcons do. Play one-score games. Falcons plus eight and a half on the road in Denver. Dolphins minus two at home against the Raiders. Falcons, Dolphins, your winning teaser like for week 11 in the NFL. And now we get to the five best bets coming up week 11. Who's playing quarterback for Jacksonville? Mac Jones and his phone number if you want to tell him how much he stinks. 281-330-8004. Hit Mac Jones up on the low because Mac Jones about to, you know. This point spread needs to be at least 14 and I would still like the Lions at that price. Lions minus 13 raw over the pathetic Jacksonville Jaguars. Get Doug Peterson to his tea time once he's fired as head coach of the Jaguars. Oh man, this one's gross. The Packers coming off the bye. We love love. We love Jordan Love. At the terrible Chicago Bears. Firing off of coordinator Shane Waldron. I gotta tell you, no one wants to make this bet. The point spread's too big. Packers minus six. No one wants to do it, but you get a better Caleb Williams performance. Too many points. Let's take the six with the Chicago Bears against the Green Bay Packers. Colts and the Jets. Should the Jets be favored? Yes. Should they be a four-point favorite? No. Colts plus four. Best bet number three coming up on Sunday. Oh man, one of the best rivalries in the NFL. Ravens and the Steelers in the AFC North. Baltimore's a three-point road favorite. Russell Wilson throwing moon balls. Looking great. George Pickens Big Mike Williams, what a run for Mike Tomlin and company. And here's the problem. The Ravens are better, and this number's short. I think the Ravens should be more than a three-point favorite, so let's take the presumptive MVP award winner. Third of his career, potentially. Lamar Jackson and the Ravens laying three at the Pittsburgh Steelers in the final one. I mean, really? We're going to keep doing this. We've been doing this segment for a couple years now. Patrick Mahomes is an underdog. Against this loser, the, the Bills are not losers. The Bills are great. But against the Chiefs, they are losers. I don't care what happens when they play in the regular season. I don't care that this is the regular season. The Chiefs are 9-0. and The Chiefs are undefeated. The Chiefs will go to Western New York, put people through tables, and they will win this game outright. You can take the two and a half if you want. Tease the Chiefs. All Kansas City all the time on Sunday in Buffalo. And those are the five best bets and all the opinions coming up for week 11 in the NFL. We will catch you next week here for the Board of Spreads for BetMGM.